So my first question is, have you always lived in Augusta? Uh, no. So how did you end up here? Met a lady in Merritt. Okay. Um, so for me, I've always lived in Augusta. I was born and raised here. Um, we live in a two-story, five-bedroom, single-family home. Could you tell me a little bit about what kind of home you live in? I live in a single-story, four-bedroom, uh, ranch-style home. Um, so have you ever invested in solar, either rooftop solar for your home, your property, or as part of a business, um, or a program through your unit? No. Are you a homeowner? Yes. Okay. Um, so was that decision made for you? Like, did you buy the house from someone and it was not already offered there, or? No, I had it built. Okay. Was that just not an option you thought about at all? No, it wasn't an option then. Okay. Um, so if you did have the option to put rooftop solar on your home, would you be willing to do that? Not at the moment. Okay. Um, why or why not? Uh, not enough information on it right now. Okay. Um, so I'd like to talk a little bit about, um, rooftop solar in general. I'm going to give you a map of the United States. If you can just circle or mark wherever you think solar is mostly adopted in the country. Where is that market? Yeah, you can put an extra circle of the areas you think. I would say here, here, and here. Okay. Why do you think those specific areas? A lot of sun. Okay. Um. So, what kind of people do you think live in those areas that would make them willing to adopt solar? Um. I would say people that look to uh, save money. Um, people that are, um, concerned about the environment. Okay. Um, so you think for the most part weather has a lot to play in effect to that? Yeah, I, yes, I do. Um, due to the fact of the solar, even though I know once, you know, if the, if the solar goes down, then you still have the the, um, the backup to the power company. Okay. Um, so we're going to do the same thing, but with the state of Georgia. So just circle or mark what areas in Georgia you think have the most solar. Uh, I would say, I would say up around Athens. Um, Augusta has quite a bit. Okay. So, what do you think makes those three areas different from the rest of the state? Uh, well, it's just, I've traveled those areas and I see a lot of solar in those areas. Okay. So, it's from personal experience yeah. of seeing that. Um, so why do you think people in those areas are more willing to adopt solar? I, I, I just think, um, probably want to save money. Okay. I mean... Northern, north, I would say northern Georgia is a little bit more expensive than southern Georgia, so they're probably looking to save money. Okay. Um, well, that's all for those, so I'll take those. Um, what about your close friends in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar? Uh, I have two friends that have solar. Okay. So why do you think they chose to adopt it, or if you know the reason why? Mm -hmm. They were looking to save money and, um, <clears throat> yeah, basically it, mm -hmm. looking to save money. Um, so now if you don't mind, we're going to ask a few questions regarding of the role of food in your day-to-day -day life. So if you could, please tell me what your regular day with food looks like. So what does your meals and snacks typically look like? Uh, snacks would be, uh, fruits, nuts. My meals would be, um, mainly... Um, poultry and um, mainly poultry, fish, and some beef. Okay. So for me, a typical like go-to snack would be fruit because I love all kinds of fruit. Um, so could you tell me what your go-to meal is and why? Meal or snack? My go-to? My go-to uh, my go-to snack is peanuts. 
Yeah. Love peanuts. Um, the go-to meal would be um, grilled chicken breast and salad. Okay. Um, so how often do you cook your own meals? Daily. Daily? So is it like three meals a day or one meal a day? Um, mainly one meal a day. Okay. Um, so are you the only person that makes the decisions about the food purchases in your household? No. So what roles do other people play? Um, my wife is the primary, um... I would say primary food buyer. My daughter um, buys her own food because she doesn't eat uh, she doesn't eat meat, so she buys her own food. Okay. Um, so, how often do you purchase food for your household? Uh, about once every two weeks. Okay. So, if you could paint this picture for me, let's say you're taking a trip to purchase food. What does that look like? Um, I would say sandwich meats, sandwich meats and, um, chips for snacks, or chips to go along with the sandwich, um, fruits. Okay. Um, so when it comes to feeding your family, what are some challenges you might face? For example, in my family, we have, um, a little bit of food allergies and then a lot of picky eaters, so we have to make something that works with everyone? Uh, picky eaters for one and trying to um, have something different each meal.